everybody, and welcome back to an unexpected episode of Jurassic World, the game. What are we doing today? You might ask. Well, uh, if you watched the last episode, you will know that this week has been Compy Week, basically. Compy and Dodo, uh, where you could dart the said hybrids. Now, uh, I did just actually, uh, well, today, the time right now of recording this is half 11. Um, so it is, it's quite late. <laughs> so this is an impromptu episode. I've just had a shower. Hence the reason why we've got floppy hair going on today. Um, but I darted the unique, which was the compi and managed to get 200 and odd. It was two, it was over 200. So I was pretty happy with that. And I think actually, um, we have a surprise for you. Are you ready? Yes! I managed to do it. I unlocked it. 274. So I got about two, like, I, I probably put the picture up. Maybe I have, I don't know. Yes. But we have managed to actually unlock it. Um, I have a few fuses of this guy, I think, ready to go. So the comb so callous. Um, this being the latest unique hybrid put into the game. Level 21, 2938. Okay, okay. That's not so bad. Oh, size doesn't matter. Some extra feeders for it. Um, we're getting close. We need just a couple more. Maybe we can get to level 22 this episode. Um, because I'm hoping that uh, we've had some... Oh, God. Uh, did I... Oh, oh. I don't know if it's loaded it right. Uh, well, I should have had some extra DNA ready <laughs> um, from my uh, Sunday, which was today, actually. Uh, so, oh, look, look, you see this? That was me scrolling. Look, I'm still, watch. One, two, three. There you go. One, two, two. <laughs> Touch screen not so great on an iPad, apparently. Uh, ha, 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 yes. And you got classic roll. My compi is your compi. Can't wait to see it in a video. There you go. Oh, before I collected it, I should have... I should have shown. Why are we still here? Sorry, guys. Well, anyway, uh, all we need is a couple more compi DNA, and we will be able to have two pops, which is a very low chance we'll actually be able to level it up. Said next level. But we can definitely do two pops. And oh, look at that. 399. And there you go. Some compies killing a goat. And I, look, at, look at that one. Just having a go in its eyeball. So this is actually the second unique hybrid made from Diplocalus DNA. Uh, so we'll give it two pops. Uh, we need 76, which is a tall ask, considering that most of the time you get 10s or 20s. So first pop, what's it gonna be? Okay, 40. I mean, if we get another 40, we've done it. Um, that, ooh, fingers crossed. Oh, they're 50. We managed to level up to level 22. What on earth has got... Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Level 22. 3,000 health and 1,110 attack. And with a speed of 127. That is actually quite fast. That is ridiculously fast. Okay, so let's see what it has. So, now this is what I realized when I, I fought one. and uh, So, I was like, wait, how does this work? How do you actually get health back. You actually have, you know, the cutting strike, the hop and mark, um, restricted group distraction. Interesting. Uh, but the alert scurry is the big one. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like a, a, a passive attack back to lower attack as well. Um, now the alert scurry is how you get health. Now, if you're above two uh, compies, then it doesn't matter. Um, what, you, you're not going to get it. You're going to do some damage, but that's about it. But if you're threatened, meaning you've probably only got one left, um, if you actually attack, you will gain a compi back. Um, and I think that's the way that works. And what is the cooldown is three. So chances are you're probably not only going to do it once and you're going to survive a little bit longer. 30 reduced attack, but we can't be sped reduced, which is great. So that means if we just pump loads of speed into this compi, then we can, you know, cunning strike, hop and mock, uh, maybe even restrict distraction. So seeing as we can't be sped reduced, that's really friggin' good. Um, we could be looking at something that is super fast, that cannot be sped reduced, and gets to go first and does, you know, a lot of damage. Like, the thing is, with this guy, you want to go first. Because um, if, oh, you know, you could probably time it, so you could do the alert scurry, 
um, like maybe second. So it'll be interesting. So what I want to do is actually put it into a team. Leave in the comments below. Also, in the comments below, remember to use the description. You will get free books if you use that link, uh, which is being lovingly provided by Lydia. Now, I do have two dinosaurs that have no boosts on them. Um, but I want to make this guy work. And I'd love to see just exactly um, maybe if you guys have got any strats that could work with it. Uh, we've also got this thing here. Um, and I kind of just want to try the compi out with this. <laughs> so it's, it's level 22, which is kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm loving that. We got 90. Two pops and 90 DNA. That happens with nothing. You 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 try that with anything in the game. Try and get 90 DNA, unique DNA with something. It's not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> so interesting thing is we do do we do do we do 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 um, the swap and distraction. Now I don't know exactly how much distraction that is. It's a hundred percent distraction for two for two attacks. Oh, lasting one turn. Oh, okay, after the swap in. Unable to swap lasting two turns. Okay, okay. So, I mean, there's no point doing the, the hop and whatever. Um, or we just the camouflage. Could we have done anything there? Maybe the hop and mock might have might have done something. So he reduces our attack. Um, um, yum, yum, yum. Look at that. Level six is giving us jip. That's not good. Oh, no, and we get hit. You bugger you! I love the different colors of them. I was kind of hoping that they, they would be... Uh, so what is this? Cleanse and Taunt. Um, do, so we get the dodge and that's it. So that's all we get. Um, do we reduce the... We null target. Opponent with both positive effects removes all positive effects. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, he's also going first because he's got a speed boost. Um, now it doesn't matter if we die. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm curious. To, I'm, I'm, I want to practice before we go in the big leagues. Before we, we fight real people, I'm just wanting to see how this could work and how we can make this go to our advantage. So if we're against a Thordor, for instance, he's got, he might go. Well, we want to go first, so we hit him and distract him, meaning that the Thordor, or like against the Thordor, this compi should be the perfect counter. Not only is it able to get health back, um, but also. All of its attacks, I think, well, the majority of them distract. Uh, this one distracts for up to 50%, and this one distracts up to 50% as well. Uh, unfortunately, we're not faster than this, um, but that's okay. I'm expecting the high pants. I'm expecting to lose one here. It's okay. It's okay. We lost one, but it's okay. We're going to get it back. Well, maybe actually we probably won't get that one back. So we'll do a little bit of that. We do kill it. Um, oh, wait. Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't get it back. Never mind. Okay, well, I'll do attack Scurry anyway. He's not, he's not going to kill us. Um, I think it's if you're below half health, um, which I don't think we are. Hard to tell if we're threatened. Maybe there could be some, you know, something happened there that shows us. Um, oh, there you go. We got it back. So I think you need to be below half health. So if you can time it correctly, you can get health back and also n like nullify a giant hit coming in. Doesn't matter whether you kill them or not. Look at that. All we lost was one of our compies. And I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you, but I think this has amazing potential. You get this guy to level 30. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to getting that guy to level 30. Now, the reason why I'm doing that legendary incubator is because you can get uh, compie DNA from it. So I'm kind of tempted. What we'll do is we'll do, we'll do a couple of fights here. Now that we've seen the compi, or at least against bots, we'll just rattle through with something like, um, um what's it called? Uh, the, the magnet, magnetator, whatever. Magnetator Todd. Magnetator, magnetator? Boy, I can't, I don't think I've ever said its name. Magnet. Magni, magni, magni. So we can basically just go for, like, single hits. And kill everything. But with 127 base speed. Ah, <laughs> oh, you, you could make it one of the fastest things in the game. I mean, it, obviously it will never outspeed a raptor. Or something like maybe an Earl Dominus or maybe Earl Fix. I don't know what Earl Fix has base level, but that would be interesting to see. Um, yeah, I'll just go for a regular hit. Uh, because it, 127 speed is a lot. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's the. No. No. Do they also have alert? Oh. Oh, but they have alert the flock, which is threatened uh, when they swap out. Is that? If they swap out, they get health back. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Hop and mark. So basically, it nullifies any of my positive. They cleanse, they gain a dodge. Um, trying to think what situation that would be really good in. Um, it could be good for something like a cloak. 
That could be good for a cloak. Because you nullify the cloak, you also get a dodge. And would, I guess, a speed boost would really be what you want. Um, but if you know that something's going to try and go for a cloak, that's a, that's a good shout. That's a good shout to, to uh, try and counter a cloak there. Um, interesting to see all, the, all these different battles we're going up against. And always nice to, you know, do something to see a different scenery. Uh, I don't know whether you do a lot of night battles. I definitely do. Because um, during day, doing doing other things. Like, for instance, the past couple of days, all I've been doing is just enjoying the nice weather. Because it's been absolutely gorgeous here in England. And you don't get days like this quite often. Although I did avoid getting sunburnt because I put suntan lotion on. Um, which some of you who live in hotter countries might think... You, you, if it's that, because it is really boiling hot at the moment. Um, a lot of people in England get sunburned. Um, and that is because the mentality is that we think that you can only get sunburned on holiday when you go abroad. <laughs> and that is because, you know, that it's going to be hotter there. But you can get some blisteringly hot days today. And uh, like Whitney is burned. Her brother's sunburned from yesterday. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of, lot of um, people who didn't wear sun cream, thinking, you know, oh, it's England. You know, you're, not, you're not gonna get hot, are you? And oh, here we go. Unfortunately, we are, uh, we're, we're just too far away. Oh no. So I don't know what the other things you could have darted was. Oh, it was this thing, the Entelonia. Well, I've already unlocked it, and I, I want to try these guys out, man. And this is, these, these are gonna be awesome. So we'll, hold on, we'll collect our little incubators. Um, I don't know if we have a weeks alert coming up. Just. Maybe, I don't know. I'm also tempted, guys. I don't know whether I should. I should or not. I don't know. Go for the bumpy. The, um, like, when we did the raid the other day to showcase uh, the new boss with, um, you know, trying to take bumpy on, somebody actually had the new emote. Somebody had that. And I don't know whether I put that in because we, even though the video was like 40 minutes, it was like an hour and a half. The entire episode was like an hour and a half if I didn't edit it down uh, otherwise. And that's the thing. It would be really cool to show you guys all the attempts but at the same time, do you want to see me fail five times? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I showed the best one we did with Bumpy. Um, and hopefully, these battles right now, we can get the new Compi in. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I don't know what's going to be the best kind of target to use it in. It, 127 speed is really good. Most things that are, are, are boosted to be fast are going to be faster than that. You're talking about maybe 150 odd speed, 160 odd speed. Um, but I think I think the best way maybe to counter uh, the compi is to have something that has rampage and run. Uh, should we fight AI or should we? I, th I think well, I think we'll keep on. Yeah, the best way to uh, counter the compi is probably to have some rampage and run, and then to switch in to something that also does a hit. So like um, Sarah Magnus or a Draco Ceratops, something like that. I think if you if you if you could get that worked out, it's it's probably very rare you can even manage to do that. But I think that would be a solid counter for it. Uh, let's speed past this battle and do another one, shall we? <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Past that one, but we won. So let's try again, shall we? <laughs> Come on, Compi. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Compi, please. Yes! Okay, now, how do I use the compi is the question. Because we can swap in and... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What a, trico. Let's go with Trico. I was kind of tempted for Dio, even though I don't have any... Uh, that's... Okay. Three battles. Each one has started with Hadros. What is going on? But you know what? I'll take it. That is a really weak Hadros. Um, it's got speed and attack. I think that's probably why. Um... It can be, like, attack reduced, but only to 50%. Um, so, yeah, uh, we are going to be reduced. Now, he can, if he wants to, go for, you know, a, a rampage and try to kill me. Um, I might as well just go for a big hit. Oh, he's... Mm, okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, we might big brain him here. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to do that, right? Um... Now, we, we could go for a, a instant invincibility, but do you think he will see this coming? If we go for in instant invincibility, and he swaps into something, it's wasted, and then he could probably get a big hit off. Um, however, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, he did predict it. He predicted it. Although, saying that, he, he, maybe he thought that uh, he was just going to try and kill me with whatever this is and how much damage it has. Which it has a lot, apparently. Um, there's 1,600 regular. 
Um, it has a delay of war. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do some damage to him. Uh, he's probably gonna distract me, so we're gonna do a regular 2,200 damage. Um, doesn't get a crit, thank God, because uh, that would have probably killed me. Um, so we do we do a little hit. Um, so he does have a Hadros that's ready to do a um, a what do you call it? A uh, does he, oh God, this is this is tricky. Oh, he's resistant to that as well. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna go for the Dio. Gonna go for Dio for a little cheeky like bite in because he's gonna go for the def definitive impact and Dio's not really good for anything else. So I'll, I'll take the hit there. Um, now, is he gonna go for our Hadros or what's he gonna do? He's, oh, he's, switching, he's switching back to Hadros. He's switching back to Hadros, which was a terrible idea because he could have at least had an emergency, I guess. So we're one nil up. Um, he's obviously saving his Monol Orion. He wants that saved for something. Uh, in comes Trico to deliver a, a a whopper of a hit onto me. Um, so that's, what, 3,100. So we're going to survive. Um, we're going to do a hit back here. Um, so this is a lot of damage coming in from a deal. I was hoping that that was going to be a crit. Uh, maybe this one? No. No luck today. Uh, and we're probably going to die from this. Uh, yes, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, now, he has used his... Oh, God, this is... I want to use these compies, but I want to win with them. Now, I, I'm going to have to go for a distraction here. He does have his... Oh, you know what it is? If he, we get to the point where he thinks he can finish me by swapping in the Monol Orion, right? We're in with a good chance here, because then we can swap to the compie, predicting it, nullify him, because we'll definitely be faster, and he'll only do half damage. Um, so, Monol Orion could come in here. And he might just want to save this. If he does, I'll just go for a big hit. He, he does. Okay, he, he just wants to waste it. Uh, I don't know whether he's thinking he's dead. It depends what his other creature is. Because um, it's, it's a fair amount of damage, you know. 1,600. Not as good as something like Sarah Magnus. But um, fair enough. Let's see what he has. What's his other mystery dino? It's a Magnetate. Oh, God, and it's faster. Oh, this is not so good. This is bad. Um... This is very bad, because uh, he's going to kill me here. Uh, right, that's a fast one. 162, and I was 156. Okay, he's he, he specked a lot into that. Uh, so, in comes Compsocalus to lose. <laughs> okay, should we just go for this? We'll go. Oh, you may try and distract me, and you may kill one. Um, and you do, but you're also faster. Oh, this is not looking so good, is it? Um... Uh, I mean, what what do we do here? Do we go for a scurry? I think. I mean, I I yes. I, we're gonna we're gonna try. Oh, look at him! He's like, I'll just do little hits. You fool! Here comes a scurry <laughs> to get some health back. Resisted. Oh yeah, there we go. Here he comes. Da 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 da. Uh, he could go for a nullifying here. Um, I kind of just want to. Yeah, he's going for a nullifying. I just want to keep distracting him. Keep distracting him. Oh, it's a crit. It doesn't matter. We're gonna die anyway. Um, here comes the cunning strike. <laughs> we're whittling it down. To be fair, we haven't done too bad. Uh, we're definitely going to die. But uh, you know what? I think we didn't do too bad there. Yeah. I don't think. You know what? With a speed boost, if like let's say we we really wanted to make that like a lot faster. I think we I think we could have done quite well there. If we if we were faster than Magnetator, it would have been in serious trouble there. Um because it wouldn't have hit us with a big hit straight away and maybe killed us. Um especially and you know, think about the other boosts that it had on it. Um Ooh, ooh, I'm curious. Should, should we should we spec a little bit into him? Um uh, I mean I'm thinking he's gonna be speedy. I don't know if we want attack. It seems like health is kind of the better thing to have with him. Like if it's got a lot of health. That means that if you survive just one hit and don't lose a compi, I think it might be pretty decent. Um, so we, we could put 19 uh, health boost into him if we really wanted to. Uh, we could put two attacks and we could put uh, some speedies. We could put some speedies into him. And with the health, I think we we may have done too well. I, I'm just wondering because we're, we're splitting up the health in thirds, right? Does it really matter how good the health is? Because you want it to be at a point where they'll do damage to you, but not kill you. You want to just survive because you, the max you can be killed is three hits, right? You And you want it to increase that. Um, 
And I think the best way of su survivability is probably to just put everything into speed, uh, which is what I'm tempted to do because I don't have a speed machine. And I want this compi to be a speed machine. So what, what should we say? Already we're, we're tier 11. Um, I'm thinking we go for 60, 63. Oh god, whoa! We'll, and then we'll wait till the next shuffle event if we've made a mistake. Uh, 161 speed? Nothing's gonna outspeed that, right? Maybe that magnetator we ran into, but most of the time... I mean, should we put one more? I'll put one more. i put one more in. Okay, so we're 163 speed. Um, and I don't know, do we go for health? Because now we're gonna get to go first, which is very vital. Um... Especially when it comes to, you know, we can't be sped reduced. And if we can somehow cling on, that's going to be very vital. So we'll just put the, the other four into healths. Uh, and there's another one. So we've got 3,300. So that's a thousand and odd um, attack. Oh, sorry, health for each. Now, when you think about that, that's not that's not a great deal, right? A thousand and odd health for each compi. But this is where it gets interesting. We are going to distract and then distract again. So they need to do, to do a thousand damage to us uh, without being able to cleanse their own speed. And if we're going first, we're going to nullify their attack. And if they're like a creature that can't have a resistance to that... Ah, here we go! Uh, this is it's going to be interesting. I'm kind of tempted just to... Um... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think we got a safe swap in. Should we put it out first? Let's put it out first. There you go. There you go. Are you in? Are you entertained? Um, you should be. So we're gonna go for. Um, I mean, we have to. We'll go for. A, oh, this is a terrible matchup. <laughs> um, I think we we're just gonna go for distract. Just gonna have to go for distract. Um, it's not looking too good for these little critters. Um, not gonna be killed by the counter, but definitely gonna. Oh, he, well, he went for the resilient. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, so now, he's probably he's probably going to do over 1,000 damage with this. He's going to do 2,300. And then we're going to do a scurry. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit more damage to him. Um, now, what he could do, just to fodder us off, is swap in something to kill us. I mean, that's that's what I would do. Um, but he, he might just think, ah, it's fine. I can easily get them. And what I could have done as well is done, like, the mock and hop, maybe. Um... Aha! There you go! Take that, sucker! <laughs> oh, rally! Yay! We did it! And we got another life in, because now he's going to try and kill us with the resilient. <laughs> We're just staying in. We're staying in and surviving. <laughs> it's great. Um, so he's probably going to do, like, a not-so-big hit. And it, seeing as I don't, I don't think he's going to do a big hit now, he thinks he's going to kill us. He's going to do a little hit. I'd be very surprised if he got... He went for the biggest hit. I did not see that coming. Okay. Um, now, oh, it depends what he goes for here. I think he might go for a swap in just to kill me with something. And if that is the case, um, I'm going to swap back into my compies. I'm going to predict him swapping in something to fodder off my Hadrosaur. Watch this be the most wor the worst idea in the world. Watch it. Watch it. I bet he didn't go. He didn't swap. He didn't swap. What kind of low brain play is this? You didn't swap. Aha! I survive! I'm gonna rally! <laughs> He's dead. The combi's dead. But, you know what? It's not bad. We might get one back. If he swaps now, he might be able to kill us. He's really thinking. He's like, I've never faced an opponent like this before that refuses to die to my level 28 Trico. <laughs> and in he comes! Yes! <laughs> We survived the counter, and then we get killed by that. So now he's in quite a—he's he's in a pickle because he's gonna die. He has to go for instant invincibility, or else he's dead. Um, unless he's like rage quit. Maybe he's disconnected. He could have disconnected. Oh my god, they did it! They freaking did it! They killed a Trico with the help of a Hadrosaur uh, or anything that could tank a hit. They freaking did it, and they can swap out now, which means I can go back in and then get a rally again. <laughs> they killed him. That's amazing. Oh, uh, level twenty-two. Yeah, you know what it is. I think he. I think he just. I think he's disconnected. 
I think that's what's happened here. And if uh, that is the case, uh, oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die here. Um, you know what? I'm, mm, I want to make sure he survives. I really do. I want him to survive. Maybe, maybe the guy will come back. Maybe he'll connect. Um, but I, I really do want to make him survive. Um, and if he does, I just want to, I want him to know, because he definitely was connected for a while there. Um, and I, I don't know whether he rage quit or he was like, oh, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. And <laughs> just went and just left it. That might be in the case. Maybe he'll connect back in a, in a couple of minutes. But, um, otherwise, I don't know. Maybe if he, com if he connects back, what I want him to think is, oh, okay, they're dead. And then, like, I swap for the moon again and go, ha! <laughs> They're alive! <laughs> but yeah, it looks like he's... Oh, what a shame. What The combis, they did so well. Maybe we can still eke out a win here. Maybe. I mean, I would... I'd be very disappointed if we can't win this. Um, with the play disconnecting. Although we do have combis. But the combis, as you can see... I don't think there was anything he could have done. He could have maybe invincibility at the end there or swapped out. That's what he could have done. If he had something that would e like come in and attack and do over a thousand damage, then that could easily finish off the compies. And that could be a good way of... Um, and maybe, you know, going second might be better that way. So you take the hit and then you do the rally and you get your attack. You get your, you know, your your your, um, your compie back. Um, so may maybe going second might be better. But I don't know. I feel like in this game going first is, is, is what you want to do. So I'd be very surprised if you know you want to go second with that uh if you do well we're just gonna have to wait till boosts reshuffle and hopefully fingers crossed um the boost reshuffling event isn't just you know saved for maybe like once a month because it looks like you know they're bringing it back um for popular demand because everybody wants to be able to just shuffle their boost about around right you don't want to be locked in. Like, part of the fun of the game is that you're not locked in to... Oh, I, I kind of want to win with them. Can we can we distract him? Or is he immune to distraction? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I guess I could have let him kill me. Mm, I should have let him kill me. I should have let him kill me because I'm faster than it. It's level 30 and it's not... Oh, because I sped reduced it. Oh, it would have been interesting. Oh, I should have won. My only chance to win with the... <laughs> so far, maybe. I mean, without going through hundreds of battles, that was an easy way to win, but it didn't feel fair. He wasn't playing. But anyway, guys, there you have it. That is unlocking the new, I can't remember its name, uh, Compi Hybrid, known as, and almost maxing its speed, uh, the Compsocalus. Tell, let me know what your thoughts are. What would be a good build for it? And we also kind of used it in a battle uh, for the start, and it kind of worked for a little bit. And you can see... You know, with its attack reduction, and, you know, it's only level 22 at the moment. Imagine level 30. Um, it, uh, with all the extra health it's going to be able to gain uh, with all those extra levels, which will be a lot. We're talking about maybe, you know, possibly 2,000 health per compi. With distraction, that's uh, that's a headache. Especially with Scurry, and if you can, you know, go go to the evades just to eke out um, goes and then go for the scurry and then get another one back. So it's going to be a tough one to handle and I, I love it. I love the new mechanic that they brought out. It's it's great. I honestly love it. And anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.